I am so proud of you. That is amazing. You are so incredible. And then she would do her little smile and do it again. And that's awesome. So that's kind of where you're at right now. Like you are on your path. You're making these empowered, confident decisions, but then you're needing to just get a little affirmation and borrow some of that confidence. Hey everyone, welcome to the Nourished and Thriving Show. I'm your host, Katie Lovett. I'm a registered dietitian on a mission to help you increase your impact and legacy on the world while healing your gut and reducing your IBS symptoms. I'm so grateful to have you here. Each week, I'll inspire you to live vibrantly and provide valuable resources and information that empowers you to take bold action towards your health goals. Before we dive in, make sure you follow or subscribe to my show wherever you're listening so you never miss an episode. Ready? Let's go! Welcome back, everybody. We are on our series of the six stages of gut rehab. I'm so excited to talk with you guys today. Today, we're on stage five of gut rehab. If this is your first one to listen to, that's awesome. You can totally start here. Um, The different stages aren't necessarily dependent on one another, but make sure you go back and listen. I have an overview of all of the different stages and then an individual episode on each stage. So make sure you listen to all of them. Um, let me know which stage you think you're at. And it's, it can be a fluid thing too, right? Like from, even from day to day, depending on how you're feeling, we can kind of wax and wane between the different stages. And once you go through a stage, you'll hear me talk, like you may not continue moving forward. You may actually go backwards and kind of get stuck there. So in each episode, I've been talking about what each stage is, what's great about it, what are the more challenging parts about it, how to keep moving forward and how you can get stuck in that stage. So let's, let's just dive right in. So last time we talked about the discouraged healer and it's where, you know, you've made some progress, you felt better, and then maybe you felt worse again, you stopped making progress, you know, all of those types of things. So this is now the emerging soul and you've made progress out of the discouraged healer. It's a beautiful, awesome, cool place to be whenever you're in this emerging soul space because you've had some really major breakthroughs, okay? You have like a lot of clarity around why your gut was a hot mess before. (laughs) And it's not necessarily a hot mess anymore. Like you've made a lot of progress. You're feeling a lot better, a lot better. You've had major reductions in your symptoms. You're not feeling bad every single day. You're not, um, they're not interfering with your daily life. Like they were, you're more free to go live your dreams, pursue your interests, live your life purpose. You're able to have that deep impact on other people that you were created and so desired to have not that long ago. Hopefully if you're working with a pro, they were able to get you to this place most likely in a matter of months. Okay. So it's really, really great. You're doing pretty good. You have a really great idea of what your gut story is. So maybe where your symptoms all kind of started from, what has been allowing your symptoms to continue, what triggers them, almost all, if not all of the different moving parts in your unique gut story. Like you have this just really great understanding of this is how my body works. This is what it responds really well to. This is, you know, maybe where it can have a harder time. Um, These are typically the times where I'll see an increase in my symptoms and this is what I need to do to help them feel better all of that. And you're really starting to claim the power to your own gut health. You feel empowered and excited and and motivated to keep moving forward and more confident in your actions and in your decisions from day to day. But you're still relying at times on other people, on me, if you're working with me, if one of your, if you're one of my clients, on your doctor, on whatever professional or expert you've partnered with, because 
honestly, if you've made it to this point, you've used most likely some sort of an outside resource, whether it's working one-on-one with somebody, working in a program, reading some books, stuff like that. And you're still relying on those things. So if it's, you know, free podcasts that you've been listening to, you're still listening to those podcasts pretty often to pick up on things. If it was a book that you read, maybe you're going back and flipping open that book and rereading parts of it to, to reaffirm where you're at, where you're going, where, what action you need to take. You're still in communication with your dietitian or healthcare professional at a pretty consistent basis so that you can get affirmation. The example I love to use here whenever I'm explaining this emerging soul is my four-year-old daughter, Adeline. Um, Her name starts with an A and she's learning her letters. And A is maybe one of the first letters that she knew how to write. She would draw these A's and mommy, mommy, I did an A. Look, I did an A. Did I do it right? Is this how I did it? Is this an A? Um, So she was excited to show me that she'd done it, but then she needed me to tell her, yes, Adeline, you did it. You wrote an A. I am so proud of you. That is amazing. You are so incredible. And then she would do her little smile and do it again. And that's awesome. So that's kind of where you're at right now. Like you are on your path. You're making these empowered, confident decisions, but then you're needing to just get a little affirmation and borrow some of that confidence. You're like, Hey, is this right? I think this is what I need to do. Is this right? Am I on the right path? Especially if circumstances change, you are probably not going to be trusting your body's resilience and ability to adapt to changing circumstances. So maybe you had a stomach bug, maybe you got food poisoning, maybe you had a really stressful event that you're going through. um, And you have kind of some doubt or fear or worry creeping in and making you question like, "Uh, is my gut going to be able to handle this? Is, you know, where, what's this going to look like coming out of this? I'm not really sure how this is going to go. Are things going to change? Am I going to need to do something else? Um, you see all of these questions just coming in. And so that's where it can be really helpful to still have that professional to go back to and say, you know, Hey, like, uh, I'm a little nervous. What's, what's our best path forward. And if you have a really great health professional who is working to empower you to have confidence in yourself and your own ability to have autonomy over your body, they are going to ask you first for suggestions. And they're going to say, well, you know, what do you think you need to do? And then from there, you know, they'll make additional suggestions as well, because once you reach this emerging soul space, healthcare providers know that you have the knowledge, a lot of the knowledge, probably 80% of the information that you need to feel your best. You already have in your brain because you've come so far. You've done so many things. You know, what works well. Remember I just said, like, you know, your gut health story, you know, what works well, but you need some reminders and encouragement and support in this stage. And that's okay. That's okay. This can take some time to work through and you'll continue to move forward in it if you have the support that you need. And this is why I work with people ideally for at least six months, because it allows us to work together through most likely at least one stressful or different event or situation to come up so that I can help lend some of my confidence and expertise to the clients during those times so that they have more confidence and they're more empowered as they leave our work together or move into a different type of work with me that's more supportive maintenance. Because whenever you're just working with a provider for a short time, you know, three months say, you know, you'll probably be feeling a lot better at the end of the three months. But I have found that it's Typically in those three to six months that something happens that's different, uh, where people really need support. Um, because if you don't have that support through this emerging soul phase, it can send you back scared running all the way to hot mess gut. If you're not careful, because if you don't have the confidence and circumstances change and you try a few of the things that you had tried before and they don't work you're going back to discouraged healer. You're going 
back to short-sighted action taker, you're, you know, where you're just scrambling, reaching at straws, trying anything that you can think of. You're going back to root cause research or you're spinning, reading, trying to come up with other solutions, other ideas, other things to do. And you're paralyzed because you don't know what's going to make you better and what's going to make you worse. Or it can just send you all the way back to hot mess gut where you are literally surviving. So it's really important, even at this beautiful emerging soul phase, it's important for you to have support so that you can continue to gain confidence and continue to be empowered when it comes to your own gut health. And when you do, you at last reach the sixth and final stage of gut rehab, and that is the vibrant soul. And that's what we're going to talk about next time. And it is amazing and beautiful. And I'm so excited for you guys all to achieve this stage. I know it's possible for you and we will talk about that next time. Thank you so much for listening to the entire episode. I hope you are feeling inspired and empowered to take bold action towards your health goals. If you enjoy what you heard, don't forget to follow my show so you never miss a new episode. And it would mean the world to me if you left me a review so others knew what to expect from my show. Last, get in touch. Let me know what bold action you're taking. Let me know how you're inspired. Follow me on Instagram at the underscore healthy gut underscore dietitian. I've put a link in my show notes for you so you can simply click and follow. Come say hi. I respond to all my messages and I can't wait to get in touch.